Okay, our next topic will be limits at infinity. So, kanina, we're approaching zero from the left or from the right. What if we're approaching to positive infinity and negative infinity? So, let R be any positive integer left. So, counting numbers. Then, first theorem, limit of 1 over x raised to R as x approaches positive infinity that is equal to 0. And, limit of 1 over x raised to R as x approaches negative infinity is still 0. So, parehas lang. Kung saan siya mag-approach, mag equal to 0. Parang opposite siya nung kanina. Ibang sagot natin kanina, either positive infinity or negative infinity. Because we are approaching 0. So, reverse lang ito. Pero this time, we're going to solve. Dapat magiging ganitong form siya bago natin matawag na 0 yung kanyang limit. Okay, the value ng limit. So, para maintindihan natin, try natin itong number 1. Limit of 5 over x cubed as x approaches positive infinity. Okay? So, using the theorem na pinag-aralan natin last week, pwede natin itong isulat na 5 mat times limit. Dahil nalagyan natin 5 dito, magiging 1 over x, x cubed na siya. Okay? As x approaches positive infinity. Nakuha yun? So, constant multiple rule. Kasi ang goal natin, maging ganitong form siya. 1 over x raised to r. Eh, ito na siya. 1 over x raised to 3. Now we have 5 times limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches positive infinity. Now 5 times 0, 0. I need to that. ba? Kahapon sa ibang section, sir, possible ba ng sagot namin naman lahat dyan ay zero? So, pag nag po tayo, zero na lang po yung sasagot ko. Check natin kung zero ba itong number two. So, ano gagawin natin sa number two? Meron na tayong variable in both numerator and denominator. So, first step, Tignan yung variable ng denominator. Ano yung variable ng denominator natin? Okay. So, x. Ano exponent niya? So, pag na-determine na natin, i-divide natin lahat ng term ng x raised to 1. Gagawin natin, copy muna natin to, limit of x this will become 2x over x plus 3 over x over 4 over x minus x over x. Okay. So, balikan natin. Chinect natin kung ano variable ng denominator. Since x lang naman ito, i-divide natin sa lahat ng term in both numerator and denominator. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 2x over x plus 3 over x all over 4 over x minus x over x. Then, simplify natin. Pag sinimplify natin, kopahin muna natin. Then, simplify 2x over x x will be cancelled out, will become 2, plus, b over x pa din yan, ito, 4 over x pa din, minus, 
x divided by x. In this case, yung limit natin dito, ilalagay natin sa kanila para magamit natin yung mga theorems na na-discuss natin. Distribute lang natin. So, this will become limit 2 as x approaches positive infinity. Ilalagay lang natin. So, dito din. Plus limit of 3 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Over limit of 4 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Minus limit of 1 as x approaches positive infinity. Okay? Medyo mahaba lang siya. Lalagyan lang natin sa harapan nila ng bawat term. Yun lang yun. Pwede namang i-shortcut kapag master na yung theorem kaya hindi na tayo dumaan dito. For example, ito. Limit of 2 as x approaches positive infinity. If you know theorem number 1, yung na-discuss natin last week. So this is plus ito naman this will become theorem number 3. Dilipad natin sa harapan si 3. Magiging 3 times limit 1 over x as x approaches positive infinity. All over, ito, same, dito, 4 limit 1 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Minus, theorem number 1, the constant. Next, 2, copy na natin yan, plus, at dito na siya, limit of 1 over x as x approaches passive infinity. So this will become 0. So 3 times 0, 0 na yan. Again mo na natin. Over, ito din, 4 times 0, minus 1. So we have, 2 plus 0, that is 2, over 0 minus 1, negative 1. So the final answer is negative. Negative. So hindi lahat ng sagot natin ay 0. Possible na magkaroon tayo na value. Medyo mahaba lang. Medyo. Medyo. Medyo mahaba lang. Kung mahaba yung number 2, oh, try ninyo si number 3. <laughs> so, anong variable natin si number 3? X cubed. So, yung i-divide natin sa lahat ng term. Ang nangyayari, limit x squared. So, become x squared over x cubed plus 2x over x cubed plus 1 over x cubed over x cubed over x cubed plus 4 over x cubed. Sige nga. Continue number 3. Then copy muna si 1 and 2 para may erase natin mamaya ito. What is your answer? Zero. Zero? Sino nagsagot ng zero? Nagsagot ng two. One. Or any other answer? Four. Four. Wala? So, major, ano sagot? Three, okay, three, Dugas. One. <laughs> Ten. One. Okay, three, may one. Zero. Zero. May zero. 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 Zero.
negative infinity. X squared over X cubed, 1 over X plus 2X over X cubed over X plus 1 over 1 plus 4 over X. Okay. Um, ginawa niya di distribute pa ba to sa bawat term or shortcut na? Okay, good. Kapag kaya natin shortcut, okay lang din naman. So, ito, according to this theorem, that is equal to zero. So, zero plus two times zero plus ito, theorem natin dito, zero over 1 1 plus ito naman 4 times, four times. yan so 0 over 1 to 0 is 1 0 over 1 is 0 tama nga assignment number 4 and number 5 Tekan natin yung assignment last week tsaka ito by Friday. Yes. Then our next lesson continuity. Yes. Sabay bitin ko pa. Wala. Sinibitin ko pa lang lahat.